Today, I'm going to show you how to turn any tablet into a smart home control panel using the eWilling Cast app. Either if you want a permanent setup or just to give your tablet a second purpose when you're not using it, I got you covered. And if you're ready, let's go. A couple of weeks ago, the eWilling team reached out to see if I wanted to test the newly released version of the eWilling Cast app. And since I've been planning to make a tablet dashboard video for a while now, I say yes. The eWilling Cast is part of the eWilling Advanced Plan that, for only $9.90 a year, gives you access to the full eWilling software experience, which includes the eWilling web, integration with if this and that, webhooks, CamSync, camera app, and of course, the eWilling Cast app. All of this to give you, the user, the ability to bolster your smart home without any complex configuration. The eWilling Cast app is a step forward in this direction. It's available for Android and iOS, and it comes packed with features like voice call and video stream, allowing you to call or watch the stream of your tablet's camera from the eWilling app on your phone. It supports cloud and local cast dashboards, so you will not only be able to control your cloud-based devices, but you can also integrate your NS Panel Pro or iHost dashboard into any tablet. Just to be clear, this only works with eWilling supported devices. But since Matter support is becoming increasingly popular, using an eWilling powered Matter gateway, device support should not be a problem in the future. To get this working, just go to my website. And here you can use any of these buttons to install the eWilling Cast app on your tablet. Then just open it. Here you can read the privacy policy and the terms of service. And then just touch agree. Then you can select if you want to configure a cloud dashboard or a local one. I'm going to select Cloudcast. And now just open the eWilling app on your phone. Click on the plus icon. Then click scan. And then just scan the QR code. Touch allow. And that's it. Now just give it a name and select a room for it. And then just touch done. As you can see here that I already have one dashboard set up. First, let's start by enabling video stream. For this, just open the navigation bar. And here, just activate video stream. Here, it's going to ask you for permissions to use the camera and the microphone of your tablet. Just touch got it. And then touch while using the app. And again. And that's it. Now, if you want to activate or deactivate video stream, you can do it from here. Now, if you want to voice call, you can see the available devices. You can use it directly from here, or you can use the e link app. Then, if you go to settings, you can change the language between Chinese and English. And you can choose if you want to enable or disable the screensaver. What this is going to do is, if the tablet is not used for 5 minutes, it will show you a screensaver. Right now, there is no way to configure other time, so 5 minutes is the only option that you have. And at the end, you can find a submit button that will upload the error logs, so the eWilling team can help you fixing any problem with the app. And if you want to add an additional dashboard, you can just touch the plus icon. Now, to set up our cloud dashboard, we need to go to the eWilling web. For this, just go to my website, and here, just go to eWilling Cast Dashboard Setup, and just click here. Now, just open the eWilling app, touch the plus icon, select a scan and scan the QR code. Then just touch allow. And that's it. Now just go to cast. And here we're going to create a new dashboard. For this just click add. And here first give it a name. Then you select the devices that you want to add to your dashboard by clicking on them. If you see this icon in any of your devices, it means that it has a graph card to go with it. Then select your scenes. And then if you click in charts, you can activate or deactivate any chart that you want. It's worth mentioning that you can deactivate the chart, but you cannot hide the device itself. And then if you go to settings, here we have some widgets that we can add to our dashboard. Just select the ones that you want. You can also change the background color. And you can add an optional pin code to your dashboard. And now to order your devices, you just need to drag and drop.
If you see this icon, this means that the widget is expandable. And if you want to add labels, you can use the custom text widget. You can add as many as you need, just click on the plus icon. And once you're happy with the result, just click on save. And that's it. Now, if we go to the Casa app on our tablet, we can see our newly created dashboard. Now, I have to be honest, this is not as powerful as something like Home Assistant. Currently, there is not much that you can do with the widgets. If you try to interact with them, they will just wiggle. And there is not much option for customization. But I think that that's the key here. To be able to give you this level of simplicity so really anyone can set it up in a couple of minutes, they need to simplify the available options for the user. The team behind the app is really dedicated. I've been giving them some feedback about the app. And you can do it too. Just go to the forum and leave them a comment on this thread. The link will be in the description. You don't need the eWilling Advanced Plan to start playing with this. You can go ahead and go to the eWilling Cast Dashboard to tap and start creating your dashboard. It will allow you to try the dashboard configuration panel and you can visualize it using the eWilling Cast app or visiting this link from your browser. The only limitation is that the interface won't allow you to turn on or turn off any device. But you can give it a try and see if this is the right fit for you. Now, if you want to do a permanent installation, that means that the tablet is going to be connected to the charger all the time. You need to protect the tablet's battery life. You may think, why would I want to do that if the tablet is going to be all disconnected? But aside from the tablet losing charge time, there are other things that can happen to it. But thanks to the eWilink as app, pairing this with any eWilink smart plug, we can create an automation that will automatically turn on the charger when the battery is below 20%. And it will turn it off once the battery is 80%. These are the recommended levels to prolong your battery life. For this, just go to the eWilling tab. Here, go to the scene. And here, we are going to create an auto scene. For this, just click on the plus icon. Then, in if, select add. Then, select smart device. Select the cast device that you want to use. And then, select battery is lower than 20%. And, touch save. Then, in then, touch add. Here, select a smart device and select the plug that controls the charger of your tablet. Touch OK. Make sure that ON is selected and then just click Save. And save again. Then just give it a name. And then just touch Save. And then done. Now we need to create one to turn off the charger. For this, just click on the plus icon. In if, touch add. Then select a smart device. Select the cast device that you want to use. And now select battery is higher than 80%. And then just touch save. Then and then touch add. Smart device. The tablet plug. Select OK. And this time select off and then just touch save and save again now give it a name and touch save and now done and that's it with this you will prolong the battery life of your tablet and now if you only want to use your dashboard when your tablet is charging I created two Tasker profiles Tasker is a paid Android app that will allow you to automate pretty much any task on your device. For this, just go to my website. In here, just go to Tasker Profiles and import the first one. If you don't have it installed, you can get it in Google Play. And then just touch Import. This will open Tasker and will import the profile. Here, just touch Yes. Then go back and import the other one. Now, if I plug in the charger, 
the dashboard will automatically open. And if I disconnect it, the tablet will be ready to use. And that's it. With this, you can turn any tablet into a smart home control panel and use it however you want. If you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be definitely thankful. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!